We the people deserve justice. That's part of a social media protest. Parents showing up outside Snapchat headquarters in Santa Monica today. The parents say the Snapchat is not doing enough against drug dealers who they say are using that app to reach children. CBS 2's Jake Reiner has the story tonight. The faces may be different. Alex took his last pill and he died. The story somewhat different too. Took my 16 year old daughter who was supposed to graduate the other day and didn't. But they all share one thing in common. I knew if he knew it was fentanyl, he would have never took it. One pill can kill, absolutely. And, and fentanyl changes everything. Drug dealers are targeting kids on Snapchat and other social media platforms. In many instances, they tell them they're selling Percocet or Oxy, but really, it's a deadly dosage of fentanyl. We aren't even a representative of a drop in the bucket of how many lives have been lost through purchases through Snapchat. Amy Neville lost her son Alexander nearly a year ago. She may have led the charge today in a march towards Snapchat's headquarters in Santa Monica. Make Snapchat a co-conspirator. Guilty, guilty, guilty. But across the country, there were rallies in 30 cities organized by the Association of People Against Lethal Drugs, including one rally in Riverside. There's kids dying everywhere from this right now, and I lost my baby because of this. Snapchat says they're trying to combat this huge problem by cooperating with law enforcement. In a statement, a spokesperson said, in part, we work to be as proactive as possible in preventing, detecting, and combating this type of abuse and are constantly improving our capabilities in this area. Mark Berman, the CEO of the Organization for Social Media Safety, like many here today, say what Snapchat and others are doing isn't enough. The things we're working on right now is making sure that all social media platforms that have children operating on them uh, allow parent safety software to add an extra layer of protection for parents. Head to CBSLA.com to read about all the steps Snapchat is taking to prevent drug dealers from operating on their platform. One piece of advice from mother Amy Neville to other parents, she says if you suspect your child is using these harmful drugs to get them detoxed immediately. In Santa Monica, I'm Jake Reiner, CBS 2 News.